Hey, what is up you guys? It's Evan and I'm back with another NBA 2K18 video. For the first time ever, you are going to see our Pro-Am team that we've since disbanded actually, but we've already made a new one. Uh, we were having a tough time in a couple games after we hit this 22-2 and record. And our record wasn't looking so good, so we just kind of took it back to the drawing board and sort of recreated our team. I don't know, you know, just like thought about how we could be better as a team on defense and offense and if we needed to make new archetypes and stuff like that. But basically, yeah, we were 22 and 2 at this point, and this is a game from like a week or two ago. So I'm not going to have everything down pat, but this team that we're playing against in this game is super good. Also, by the way, the reason I haven't been posting, and I know I always come up with some excuse for why I haven't posted, is I've been really busy with a lot of schoolwork. And not only that, I've had a cold, uh, I got a tattoo, and then I had a tattoo infection, I had to deal with all of that stuff, and then I've had a lot of work I've had to do. I really just haven't had a lot of time. And I've been pretty sick uh, as well, so it's been, it's been tough to, like, really find time and, like, my voice was sounding like crap like a couple days ago. Wow. But like like I was saying before that, this is a good team. Um, they ran an offense that was really similar to the competitive offense in 2K17. In 2K17, the, the offense that people would run often is a spread out offense where you have a bunch of shooters on your team. And you have somebody in the corner uh, on each side and like somebody on the wing on one side. And then you basically, or, or it depends on the defense that the team is running, but like they'll have all the shooters spread out, right? Nobody's in the paint. And then they'll have the point guard and they'll have the center run a pick and roll. And basically how it works is if you pick the center, the point guard's usually gonna uh, make a mid-range jump shot or shoot a three. Uh, if anybody helps, the point guard is gonna pass to one of the shooters, whoever's open. But here's the thing is, this dude that's handling ball is like a 6'9 point forward. So he's not really like a true playmaker. And he can shoot a little bit, but he can't shoot like a play shooter could. Like, that, that's the thing that doesn't make sense to me is like, he's 6'9", and there's really no point for him being that tall when he's handling ball and not really getting any rebounds. Like, I understand finishing in the paint, but if you're a pure point forward, speaking from experience, because I have a 6'10 point forward on 2K18, you really aren't gonna finish a lot of contested lifts, even though you're six foot ten. Um, but as you can see right here in the second quarter, we're down by ten points. I haven't really taken a lot of shots at this point. Uh, the lineup we're running right now, I think this is me, Josh, or okay, sorry, I always call him Josh. It's me and uh, Rain and Vato and who are the two big men? I think it's Dimitri. And Gabe, yeah. So, Dimitri, uh, he's our power forward right now, kind of. He's a, a rebounding defender. Gabe is a athletic rebounder, I think. Vato's a pure sharp, and Josh is a shot creating sharp, or a sharp creator, one of the two, I don't even know. Uh, but basically, got two shooters around me, and I'm, I'm a shot maker, of course. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, you know I'm a shot maker. Um, when I'm not hand, uh, when I'm not handling ball, it can be a little difficult sometimes because like I gotta hit some threes for sure. Uh, my three point percentage has gone down a little bit since the newest patch, that patch five. I don't know, kind of messed up jump shots in general for me a little bit until I kind of refigured out how to shoot. That's that's part of the other reason why we were struggling a little bit in Team Pro is like I I would shoot seventy five percent in Team Pro Am, and then my percentages started going down after that patch, but. Since starting the new team and figuring out how to shoot again since the patch, uh, I'm shooting like 80% again. So it's not a big deal, but I did struggle a little bit at first with that new patch coming out, fixing and adjusting the shooting a little bit. Because like 2K says, um, when they when they don't say anything about adjusting shooting, they haven't adjusted shooting, I, I'm pretty certain. Like maybe sometimes they do some shady stuff and like they do patch the shooting without telling anybody but I think legitimately a lot of the time they don't intend to patch shooting and they actually do it by accident by putting out a patch that somehow affects the shooting in the game by affecting like the millisecond response time which a lot of people have been talking about lately the response time on jump shots how open you can be um, I can make a video on that as well just a tutorial on how uh, to get the best jump shots because there's a specific website 
where you can go and look at the green percentage of shots with certain badges. You can look at it with certain ratings, stuff like that. But anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much the end of the game. We ended up winning by 12. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I'm going to be doing more in-depth gameplay. I just wanted to get a video out because I haven't had a video in a couple of days. Uh, or, no, sorry, not a couple of days, a couple of weeks. And I've been pretty out of it, but I want to get a video up so you guys know that I'm still trying to put out content. But I will be putting out some more gameplay shortly. I got a couple more videos that I can put out of our new team. But uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching this video. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by like the next two weeks if you guys can help me out with that if you're watching this here if you're a new viewer if you could subscribe that would mean a ton to me i try to put a lot of work in